Hello again. First off, I apologize. I have been away far too long from posting videos and getting any work done on any of my kits. Uh, real life bit me in the butt. We've had a lot of uh, rough times at this end. Um, and the worst of it is my father passed away uh, pretty quickly and unexpectedly. So things have been difficult. But world's kind of trying to settle things down now. So we're going to try and get back into doing things that kind of make me feel better and that I enjoy. So we still have the um, Scooby Natural project we're working on. So I'm going to need, I'm going to have to repaint the um, baby because her, her paint, uh, her top coat just came out very badly. So I'm going to have to sand her down and repaint the body. I want that smooth and shiny and looking proper. The mystery machine's all done. The engine is coming along and the body of course, and the, uh, interior of course is pretty much ready to go. So there's just a few more steps on the vehicles and then I'll be building the, uh, the back prop and the uh, base, which will be the parking lot, and the back prop will be the uh, uh, malt shop where the two cars will be parked. The other projects I have are two large ones. Uh, one is I'm going to be building it to get into the, the gist of building a large project. So I will be building a... Uh, IJ or IJN I-53 submarine with the um, what are they called the uh, Kaitan um, uh, suicide torpedoes so and that's the uh, big Lindbergh kit it's like almost three feet long it's a monster we'll be going I'll be showing you that in a little bit and then the other big kit, which is going to be a very long and calm build. It's going to take a lot of time, and it's going to be little pieces here and there. Is the uh, Trumpeter 1200 scale USS Arizona from 1941. That was left to me by Dad, and it was the last model kit. Uh, he started working on, and uh, he bought all the extras for it, all the photo etch, everything. So uh, that's going to be a massively detailed kit, and uh, that's going to be a long one. So look forward to seeing bits and pieces of that for the foreseeable future. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, um, the big sub. And then we'll take a look at uh, the Arizona. And I will uh, be right back. Hang tight. Let me readjust the camera and stuff. I had to move to a smaller ta or a different table so that I can actually show this damn thing. Uh, it is 58 and a half inches. And the mini subs are 9 and 3 quarter inches. This is a big monster. Let's get the top off of this and see what we can do. And there we go. The hull comes in two large parts. Well, four large parts, two per side. And there's the stern. There's going to be a lot of cleanup, and I'll have to punch out all the, uh, the holes here and put some sort of backing in there to represent the pressure hull. But I'm not going to go crazy and try and fix this kit because my understanding is there are a lot of errors, and I'm just... This is just to get kind of going on large kits, so... I'm not going to go all out.
crazy on it. Got lots of the parts here. Very nice. There's our conning tower. Yeah. Oh. oh. And there are the uh, the chitin subs. Let's see if I can. Whoops. To pick that up. Top hole. There we go. Oh, it back. So we're going to get to work on this kind of as a side project while I'm doing the uh, decks in two pieces too. So while I'm building the, uh, oh, the Scooby Natural project. So yeah, this is going to, I'm going to kind of have a couple projects going at once, so. All right, so that's the uh, Lindbergh 172nd scale IGN I-53 and Kaiten uh, Suicide Torpedoes. All right, let me uh, switch out and show you the big one. And here she is. This is the Trumpeter. One 200 scale USS Arizona BB-39 from 1941. Uh, just at where she was during the Pearl Harbor attack. So, yep. She's 926.6 millimeters and 126 or long. At 162.4 millimeters wide at the beam, over a thousand port or parts, not including the extras my dad bought. So, there's some of the side imagery. stats and set that right up there okay uh, this is wow this is put together just like most of these uh, this is all of the Eddard instructions for the metal or the photo etch pieces. Dad already started on some of that, so I'm going to have to really go through that hard and fast to make sure it's all there. Uh, that's for folding and cutting. Uh, U.S. Arizona. USS Arizona. So we got railings, railings, and uh, oh, cranes, and all uh, railing cranes, antennas. More, oh no, those are launch platforms for the seaplanes and some other stuff and door frames. Now, oh, there's a lot here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Dad was working on this part. I'll have to look into what this was. Let's put that back in the package here. So that doesn't get damaged. Let's see. In you go. There we go. Alright, so 
So that piece is being worked on. We'll leave that out. And the rest of these will go back into the big box. Let's see what else. Painting and marking guide. Well, she was a pretty ship. Interesting. We got two styles here. One with out the icon or the uh, ship recognition and one with. We'll research which one we're going to do. I want to do the Pearl Harbor version. So lots of lovely decals. All the flags. Well, signal flags. Lots of them. All right. What else do we have here? Oh, looks like we have crew members. So, <laughs> dad bought crew, so we got crew to put together. Must be in here somewhere. So, yeah, that's what that is. Oh, USS Bear Arizona reference in three dimensions. Very nice. All right. We got a good reference book. Photo etch coming out my ears. All right. Lovely parts. Lots of ships, boats. Oh, Dad marked them as the sections. In the, uh, section E. Nice. Oh, Dad, if you were anything, you were organized. Turrets are cool. Those look really nice. How many ship's boats did this thing have? I'm not going to pull out the deck. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Wow. All right. There's our hull, our deck. Good Lord, look at that. There. Yeah, Dad already started. We got the props built in here. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't get the the photo etch pro or the uh, brass props. Honestly. <laughs> He got everything else. Uh, got some sanding work done already. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Oh, look at this. We 
also got the laminate wood deck. Look at that. Oh my goodness. With davits and chains. Oh, and that's where it came from. All right. Let's put you back where you belong. This is all the stuff Dad was working on. Gun barrels for the machine guns. Let's see. Those are hatch pieces. Anchors. believe those are ammo boxes. Twenty, twenty-nine, and fifty-five. Those are window plates. <sighs> we got some more guns here. Some exceedingly tiny pieces. Pieces number 64. Uh, that looks like some other guns. Ooh, look at that. Had to finish these. Ooh. Oh, look. Look at those. Those are beautiful. Okay. Looks like a, another gun that was in the process of being finished. I think that was a Bofors. Oh, good grief. Please. Let's see. We got aircraft and clear. <laughs> Those are the barrels that Dad's replaced. Let's see. Got lots more tiny pieces. Sections being completed. spotlights looks like another gun carriage that looks like a rangefinder window frames Anchor chain and deck plate. Nice. Chain plates, okay. Gesundheit. Cannon barrels. Turn. No, those are gorgeous. And even more photo etch. Yeah, lots and lots of photo etch. I'm taking a crash course in photo etch. And conning tower pieces. Huh. Well, there you go.
those are the projects that are coming up. I'm going to be building my last model kit with my father. This will take, <laughs> this will take, uh, this will take a long time. I don't have a problem with that. This will be amazing when I'm finished. Dad got me off to a really good start on it. I mean, just look at some of these things. I've got all the parts and tools I'll ever need. <sighs> and trust me when I say this one will be near perfect as I can make it. So that's what Dad wanted to do. And the least I can do is match the energy that he wanted for his last kit. And I am definitely going to be doing that. I'm not going to get all this stuff back in there. That's okay. I'll make sure the small ones are in there at least. go that's gonna be the big project so but I'm gonna keep you guys uh, up to date on the projects I'm working on and uh, I'm just gonna I'll probably do a few at a time because I feel like working on different things once in a while so we're gonna get back to uh, Scooby Natural and we'll get started on the Kate Kate or the uh, IGN I-53, and we'll get started on this soon enough. All right. Well, as always, like and subscribe. I appreciate all my audience, and once again, I am so sorry for being away for so long. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful day, and uh, keep on building. Okay. I'll see you later.